Hi everybody. Uh, you guys might have noticed uh, I'm really partial. Uh, well, you might not have noticed. It would take a, take a lot of analysis, more than it deserves, to figure out how popular or how much I like. And they are popular. Uh, Tanto Blades. And this is a Tanto Blade Milwaukee. Once again, I'm going over into the borderline knives. The knives that are made by companies that you wouldn't traditionally associate with knives. And this is one of them. And this is uh, the, uh, the Tanto Fastback. This is a Fastback. And it is a, uh, a camo spring assisted knife. And uh, this is a little bit up in price point. Uh, not anywhere near even the low range of the, of the bigger knife companies. But uh, at, at the time I bought this, there was a SOG knife, also spring assisted, that was in a very, very similar price range. But I wanted to get this once again because uh, there's a non-traditional manufacturer and I want to take a look at it. So uh, since it is blister packed, it's not like opening a box anymore. So uh, I will pause this and uh, come back and uh, we will take a look at the knife a little bit more closely. After finding one of my sharpened knives, I did get into that blister pack. And this is pretty beefy, uh, more beefy than I expected. And more beefy than the other Milwaukee knife I uh, I reviewed earlier. I'll uh, put a card uh, above somewhere so you can take a look at that if you like. And uh, let's take a look at it. Now with a spring assisted knife, the question is always, how much assist do you get? So here we go. Oh, that's good. Now this is probably, I found another, uh, by, another knife by a, uh, another uh, not large manufacturer and it uh, it also responded very much like this now this this is almost switchblade speed it's boom it's done I mean I have never had one that's that reactive has a clip on the back and of course it's camo which being a Texan camo is the uh, camo is one of the basic colors around here <laughs> and uh, but uh, and it is uh, let's just see you know none of these uh, none of the uh, Manufacturers knives are often very sharp, but this is pretty good. You know, that's not bad. And I could probably give it a, a bit more sharp. And Tonto knives drive me crazy trying to sharpen them, but then I can only sharpen, you know, with my belt sander this portion, this portion. Then I've got to get to the uh, the, uh, the little diamond pin uh, sharpeners to get the rest. But I think that's pretty good. In fact, I'm going to consider care making that the uh, one of my. Uh, one of my EDC knives, you know, I have more than one, so it's sort of in a cycle if I grab one. But this definitely, I think, deserves a, a place in that. And like I said, it's very, very beefy. And, it, you know, it's, it, it's a plastic or a composite uh, cover uh, under a steel frame, of course. And it's got the traditional lock. The other one, I believe, had a, had a push button lock. But that is very good. So, just wanted to show that one, and uh, and uh, it'll be a uh, it'll be in my in my number one or number two cycle of knives to carry. And uh, I will uh, be back with uh, more reviews in the near future. And uh, I hope uh, I hope you like this one. And uh, we'll be coming out with some more. I have at least two or three more uh, on the uh, on the takeoff pattern. I will talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.